Hello there. Welcome back to a new show, uh, a new series of shows. I've been away for a couple of weeks, an odd show here or there, mainly because the heat. It's not as bad now, so I'm trying to do some more shows, so we'll see how it goes with the heat. So I'll do a bunch this week and we'll see how it goes. So um, I'm going to start with The Message, which is a Chinese film from 2009. And uh, don't worry, it's not a propaganda film from China, that's a good film. Now, uh, I'm going to um, butcher some names now, okay? So get ready. Okay, um, it's directed by Chen Kofu and Jio Kunshu. I'm hoping I've pronounced them right. I mean, it's like... Um, like Chen Kofu is a producer, screenwriter and director, but he does a lot, mainly screenwriting, producing more than anything. Um, the other director does more directing. The, st the stars are Zhu Kun, um, Li Bingbing, Zhang Hanyu. So, that's as far as I'm going to pronounce. <laughs> that's, that's as far as I'm going to go with the pronunciations because uh, I'll just make a fool of myself. So it's better for everybody if I don't go any further than that. <laughs> right. Um, so I'll just see what the characters are rather than tying them to actors or anything, it'll be simpler rather than me trying to make a fool of myself. So the message is a, is a spy thriller set during the uh, Japanese occupation of China, basically. And what's happening is there's a spy network of the resistance that's actually affecting the, the Japanese. They are losing their war against the people, or they feel they are. They feel like they're, they're losing their grip because there's some spies inside that's actually making it much harder for them. And they want to find out who the spies are. They want to see, they want to stop the spy chain that's actually causing havoc for them. Because it's caused some of their top people to be killed. And there's been organisations within their organisations that actually plan all out because they know where these people are going to be. So they can tell assassins were to be to kill them so they decide to set a trap now the guy who sets all this up is a guy who's a, a Japanese officer who has been disgraced and he's tried to prove before he gets sent back to the homeland he's trying to prove himself and to at least be worthy for his family so he's going to find out who this traitor is and he's going to set up a trap so he get so he sets up something through the uh, chain of um Communication, and he managed to work out in which office the um, communication would have been intercepted and been used against them. So they bring the five main officers from that office to a castle and say, "Okay, we're going to use our traitor, and we're going to find out who it is. And if we don't find out, we'll just kill all of you because we can't let this happen anymore. So we're going to have to find a way to deal with this." So it's either you just turn each other and find out who the traitor is, or we find out who the traitor is, or we kill you all. That's it. That's the setup, and that's a great suspense setup. I'm amazed it has been remade in um, in Hollywood with a different background, just to have the same suspense setup because it's such a good suspense setup. So this officer, who you can see behind me, he's manipulating everything, but he's not also not playing fair to his own people because he's um, pushed the situation ahead of what the, the even the Japanese want, but he's so determined he's going to save his name, his family name, because of various things that have happened in the past, and he wants to uh, clear his name and show his family to have some sort of dignity. So that's his motivation, that's his, his what he needs to do to um, make himself feel as if he can leave the war with some dignity. Even if it means killing everybody, <laughs> he's going to do that. So that's the kind of warped sense of nobility the Japanese army are operating under. So that's what he's dealing with. So he has to try and push his agenda. But what you're really at is these five people. So you have two women who are both, one's the lead um, person behind the translation and one's the kind of assistant. And the assistant's the one's a hard drinker who's the fun person who's, you know, 
the soul of the party and the the lead translator is a bit more repressed. You've got a general, you've got a kind of captain who's a hero of the nation, and he's kind of not happy to be uh, dragged into this. You've got this gay um, guy who's a political guy, and he's like um, bitchy as hell. And you've got this old school kind of colonel sergeant who's just um, he he's just trying to set up the war in this office and hope for the best, hope he doesn't get shot. I mean that's what he's doing. He's a family. He's just trying to survive the war the best he can. If it means being with the with the Japanese. He'll do it, but he's not exactly happy doing it. So there's, but everyone he's really made his peace. Like he's given up his dignity to survive, have his family survive. So these five people, and it's like, okay, who is the traitor among them? Who's the person who's um, the one who's going to um, snap and make mistakes and let you find out who's behind this? Mm this conspiracy well it's complicated it's really complicated and that's what's good about this film is it's complicated it's it's not simplistic at all and the more you find out as you go along the more engaging the film becomes because it's not just about finding who the person is it's finding the motivation of the, pe of the person who is behind it it's finding out what they're about and finding out what's driving them and it's complicated and there's layers of complications throughout it because you don't quite know who, who who's been motivated to some degree and who's um, thrown other people as like you know cannon fodder <laughs> so, so you've got this uh, mind game going on so that's an excellent film I'm going to get into spoilers in a minute so all I'm going to say is if you haven't seen the film, stop here, go see it. It's available on Amazon. It's hard to find anywhere else, but Amazon Prime has it. And you can buy it on Amazon for a decent price. And it's worth, it's like, I got it for like £8. It's really, it was really worth the money because it was a wonderful film. It's beautifully photographed. The characters are terrific. The drama's terrific. The suspense is great. You see a lot of people becoming more and more desperate as the situation gets worse and worse for them. It's about two hours long. It's really well paced. It's a terrific thriller. You're going to really enjoy it as a thriller. It's not, it doesn't have all the propaganda of a Chinese film we have nowadays. This is much more nuanced and interesting. So I would definitely say go see it. It's, it's just wonderful. I was very happy to see it. I got recommended this. Uh, by Eric, Asian movie enthusiast, who did a video on it. So that's why I wanted to see it. And it was really worth the time. So no one is spoilers. So stop here if you haven't seen it. And, you know, go see it. Then come back. Okay, the spoilers is... Start off, there's two spies in this group of five. That's the big twist. Is, is like um, They're looking for the person who would lead them to the main spy master. They think the person in this office is someone who will lead them to the main spy master called the Phantom. The Phantom's in that group as well. <laughs> and basically they do a code between two the two spies through a through a song. So it lets both of them know okay, we're the people, we're the uh spy masters here and we have to find a way to get out. And basically, what's ha actually happening is the the spy, who's the woman who's in the decoding office, but it wasn't the main one. She was like the the lives with the party. She comes from a rich family, and she's trying to help the resistance. And she's going to sacrifice herself and get caught so that the spy master can get out. Now. There's a simple way to do it, which would have made people suspicious. So what she does is, she sets up the, her own spy master to look guilty to start with, and then plants information so that they realise, so they think that they've actually um, made a mistake. So suddenly he looks furthermore in the clear, and it, it, she's a guilty one. 
which is a really brutal, b brilliant twist in the film. It really works beautifully because you don't know any of this stuff until you get to it. And it's basically like, well, she really set this guy up. Because at this point, you know it's her. Halfway through the film, you figure out who the person is who's in the defensive and who's trying to avoid getting caught. And it's like, who's she going to set up to survive? So you think it's her versus a Japanese guy, but really it's her manipulating things so she can get her boss out so he can continue the resistance. There's also a message that has to get out to tell them that um, information the resistance have received is a setup so they, they can, so that they can catch them. So they have to get this information out as well. So there's two prongs to the thing, and um, she'll do anything she can to actually get that. No matter what happens to herself, she will get it out. So it becomes a much more brutal film about the resistance and what it takes to be in the resistance. It's not just, I'm in the resistance. It's, this is much more like a French resistance movie about the 40s, you know, where a lot of horrible stuff happened in France in the 40s. And... The resistance, if you're doing the resistance, a good chance you're going to die. This is that same flavour of something like Army of Shadows or something like that, where it's like, there's no sentimentality. A lot of people in the resistance know they're dead before they start. They know they're in trouble, they're going to die. So it's it's like, what do you sacrifice? What do you do to make sure your sacrifice is worth it? And that's what the film's about. That's why the film's a lot more moving. And, and that's the idea of actually setting up her boss and then making sure he's not killed so that he looks so innocent at the end of it and so he can have the moral high ground against the person torturing him who he can now go for revenge on officially is just terrific. It's a nice little twist on the situation and she's making sure the information gets out and he gets out and her friend, because she's generally a friend with the um, her boss, the person who does the translations, she tried to bring her in to the resistance at the start of the film and it all goes wrong. But she tried to protect her and she tried to protect her boss. So it's a movie story about sacrifice. So this is a wonderful film. This is a terrific film. I would highly recommend you seeing it. Um, it's a very human story about what happens in war and the brutality of Japanese in war. Because I mean, the Chinese hate the Japanese for lots of reasons, but World War, what happened before World War Two and during World War Two is a big thing at the moment. It's like it's a thing that a lot of Asia have not forgiven Japan for. J Japanese are still kind of uh, not popular because of that situation. Um, so, so it is a bit that, but it's also about the politics. It's all all about how you survive in the war and it, well, when do you sacrifice yourself for the greater good. And what, what do you do, what, what are the actual um, problems in doing that, the like political problems, the like moral problems, and just also the basic spy work of trying to um, find ways to um, pass information on while you're being watched. And there's lots of wonderful stuff there as well. But it's a really as a drama. I mean, it starts off as a thriller. The thriller is a thing that gets momentum going in the story. But halfway through, it switches to, even though there's still thriller elements, it's a drama. It's really about the moral choices people make and the failed choices people make and what the, what the, the actual motivations are. What do they think of other people in their group and the things that happen to uh, make people... Um, act the way they do, like, like, like the gay character is sacrificed brutally early on to look guilty. I mean, everybody's getting sacrificed left, right, and center as people try and make sure they don't get caught. But people are getting sacrificed. Innocent people are getting sacrificed. <laughs> you know, it's it's not nice what they do. So even though I've explained all the moral complications, they still set up people to die. So they're, they're not. You know, no, they're not pure driven snow. They do horrible stuff too, but it's more, it's for a greater good of one of the one people that are going to get ambushed. But it shows you, it shows you the kind of complexity of the situation. You can't just do this and be morally pure. Uh, it's a war. It's not just games. It's a war, and you are going to compromise something in your soul during a war to get your agenda done.
And it, it, that happens to the Japanese, to the Chinese, everybody. And there's a, there's a wonderful bit at the end where the, where the phantom guy has got out and he's free. So when no one's looking, he goes and takes out the Japanese officer, starts the whole thing up. So he didn't get away with it. <laughs> and it's just, it's just so satisfying that it's like, yeah, it's like this guy is out for revenge now. He's, he's pissed about what happened to his people. What happened to innocent people because of the guy's ambitions. So it's a wonderful film. The message is wonderful. And it's just... It's just such a good drama. And it just... It's a, it's a nice surprise. Because you expect something like this would just become a thrill ride. With no moral points to it. Just, just because of... What's the, what's the scare and what's the fear... It's been added on, like it's happened in a lot of American trials. No, this is a bit the moral problems of the situation. It starts out as a thriller, but it becomes a bit the moral problems of the situation, which makes it much more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll be back soon with another one. But the message is, it's just so good. Right, bye for now. <laughs>